Hello guys, and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League is having an issue with crashing, it is not launched or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen issue which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we have to do a simple restart. For this what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the start icon, click on this one and go to the power icon and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. And this is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about nothing but we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now we are launching the game from Steam and that is why we are having the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So try launch the game. So in order to navigate to the installation folder, we have to go over here in the game, right click go to the properties, go for install it file and just click on the browse. So that will take you to the installation folder. If you check over here at the top, there's this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, suicide, squad, kill the justice leak. And here we have to go to the stance. Now from here we have to go to uh, content, not content, go to the binaries, go for win 64, okay. Go to the binaries, navigate to Win64 and here we have to navigate to this particular folder. So just launch the game from here. So, <coughs> so this is application. So we have to launch the game from here. And once afterwards, if you are having still the trouble, we have to move to the next one. That is all about. Uh, hence within the installation folder, I'll be showing you this, that we have to run the game as an administrator and we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. For running the game as an administrator, we have to go over here and right click, go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties, go for compatibility, click on to run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to run the game in the compatibility mode, go for show more option, properties, compatibility, click on to run this program in the compatibility mode, set this to windows 7 and go for apply or we have to set this to windows 8, go for apply and go for ok. And once everything has been set, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to make sure that we have to launch the game and you have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. This even worked for a few users, you can try this out. Just launch the game and press Alt and Tab. Even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try changing or make sure the date, time and language, not the language, region is correct. For this reason we have to go over here in the search. We have to navigate to the settings. Now from here go to the time and language. Go for date and time. Make sure the time zone, time and every three things should be correct. And just go back. Go to the language and region. From here navigate to the region. Make sure that you have selected the correct one. So if you're from United States, you have to select United States. And if you're from United Kingdom, you have to select United Kingdom. And if you're from any other country, you have to select it accordingly. So once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to delete the saved game file. Just go over here in the file explorer, navigate to this PC, go to the documents over here and from here we have to find the folder, just find the folder and also navigate to the my games and over here if you find the folder of the suicide squad, just delete it. Keep in mind when you do, the, when you do this, you will be losing all the progressions of the game but that is fine. Afterwards, we just need to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to allow the game to Windows Security. For this reason, we have to go over here in the search, search for uh, control panel. Now from here, navigate to system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall, go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to Suicide Squad. So keep scrolling down and navigate to S. Keep on scrolling down. Now from here, we have to navigate a little bit lower. So Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, that is what it is. So just mark this and also make sure both the private and public both has to be marked, which is very important. So imagine the game is not here. If that is the case, we have to add the game. Just click on the change setting. Go for allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local C, go to program file x86, go for Steam. Go for Steam Apps, go for Common. Now from here navigate to Suicide Squad. Now keep on scrolling down. Go to Suicide Squad Kill the Justice. Go for Stance, go for Binaries, Win64. Select this one and go for Open and Add it. 
So once you add the game, make sure both the private and both has to be marked, which is very important. So once the game is successfully added, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about we have to unplug all the USB devices. So we might be connected with a lot of peripherals, for example, joysticks, Logitech wheels, or maybe any other peripherals might be connected. So just remove or unplug all the USB devices. And after you unplug all the USB devices, we just need to try launch the game. Once you get in the game, you are fine with the game. Just connect it back and try continue playing the game. So this even worked for few users. So we can try this out as well. Next one, we have to perform a clean boot. So just go over here in the search and search for system configuration. Go for services. Go for disable all. Go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for apply and go for OK. And you have to go for restart. And once you go for uh, the users who are watching this, go for a restart. But I'm going to go for exit without restart because we're in the middle of shooting. So go for exit without restart. Now go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Now from here, make sure this is turn it off and try launch the game. If that is not the case, we have to give the commands in the launch option. So just go over here, right click and go to the properties. Go over here in the launch option. The first command is we have to give DX11. We have to start with DX11. If DX11 is not working, start with DX12. Either the DX11 will be working or we have to start with DX12. Any one of the things will be working fine. And once you're done with this one, we can try this out. And this particular step even worked for many users. So that is why I'm recommending this as well. You can try this out as well. Next one is all about nothing but we have to close all the overlay application. So whenever you're launching the game, which is like Suicide Squad, which is around 80 GB. So you have to make sure there is no big things is running in the background. So just go to the start icon, right click and go to the task manager. And now as you can check over here at the top, you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. Actually, there are 50 apps running in the background and all these things are heavy one. For example, you know, Discord, Epic Games Launcher and even Riva Tuner, MSA Afterburner, which comes to the category of overlay and overclocking application. And all these things are running in the background. So whenever you're launching this game simultaneously, if these things are running in the background, you'll be having the crashing shape. So just remove the unwanted things from here. You have to remove everything. And afterwards, try launch the game and it will be working like a smooth. Next one is all about we have to run the game on dedicated graphics card. For this, we just need to go over here and navigate to graphics settings. So search for the graphics settings, go for browse, navigate to the installation folder that is local to C, program for X86, go for Steam. We have to navigate to Steam apps, go to common. Now go for Suicide Squad. Now we have to navigate to Suicide uh, Squad over here. Now go to the Stones folder, go to the binaries, go for Win64, select this one and we have to add it. So the game is added, just click on the option. By default, this will be let Windows decide, change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this to high performance and once afterwards, just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here, search for view advanced system settings. Click on this one, go for advanced, go for settings, go for advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local C before custom size, set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size three times the total RAM. So we need to, we need a calculator. So I'm having a calculator. So let me do this. So I have to type my RAM, which is the first one, 32 GB is my RAM. So I have to type it multiplied with a constant value, which is common for everyone and 32768 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 because the value is 1.5 times the total RAM. So just copy and paste this. Maximum size should be 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3. That is 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it. And once everything has been set, we just need to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about nothing but we have to do is we just need to update the windows. So just go over here in the search. We have to go to the settings, go for windows update just update the windows. So once you update the windows, you have to make sure if you're having any cumulative updates and all those things, just update it. Afterwards, try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to update the graphics card. So just go over here. Now from here, we have to go over here in the NVIDIA. 
Now from here we have to go to the first one, the product type. So I'll be giving all these links in the description so you don't have to worry. Go to the product series should be selecting if the 14 series is what it is. Go for NVIDIA, select the operating system, go for start search. And when you go for the start search, what happens is you will be getting the latest download version, which is 551.23, which is the released versions. Now, which is latest on January 24, 2024. So download this one and you can install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the AMD, just go over here, select every details and go for submit. And if you're on Windows 11, download this one. And if you're on Windows 10, you can try downloading this one and install. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. If you're on the uh, Microsoft Visual C++, just go over here and download the x64. Download this one. And if the system is based on x86, you can download this one. Install. Restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. This is what you have to do. Even after trying with this one, you have to move to the next one. That is all about. We have to uninstall and reinstall the game which worked for many users, so you don't have to get panicked, which is we have to reinstall back around 17 GB. Even though if it's worth, we have to try this out. So just go over here in the game, go to the manage and uninstall the game. So when you're reinstalling it back, you have to do this. You should not be installing back on the same local disk from which you uninstalled. You have to try a new local disk. That is what you have to do. And afterwards, if you're still having the trouble, we have to move to last and the least, which is a very important one. We have to run the game in the car. We have to verify the gaming file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to the properties. Go for install it file and just click on verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So it will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So you can try this out. So these possible workarounds can be done. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. So once everything is done, just close everything, try launch the game and these possible workarounds can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you uh, find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.